Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm checking out the Steam Next Fest demo of Peko. Pekoe? I'm not exactly sure how to say it. Which is a uh, tea making simulator where you make different kinds of tea for various cats. I am not drinking tea. I feel like I should be, but I'm drinking coffee. Maybe when the full game comes out, I will make myself a cup of tea for this. I'll do a video, but today I got my usual coffee. A uh, fresh start is exactly what I need, a new chapter in my life. A slower pace, a smaller town. I wonder what Paco will be like. The advertisement didn't say much. Seems too good to be true. What's, what's ha- whoa. I hope this isn't a scam. Me too. Now arriving in Peko. Oh, we're arriving now. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Time to start a new adventure. Hello? Howdy there and welcome. I haven't seen you around before. You must be new to our town. My name is Taffy Bartholomew, and it's a pleasure to meet you. Is this the best place ever? Trick question. It definitely is. You're in the demo or town of Pico. Oh, wow. We're currently undergoing some renovations, so it doesn't look quite like the brochure, but I'm sure it'll be in tip top shape in no time. Pico is a small town filled with passionate tea makers. There's all kinds of tea houses here to satisfy whatever tea craving you might have. This very tea house is expecting a new owner soon. Arriving on the next train, actually. That's me! <laughs> I'd love to get to know you better. If you could fill this form out quickly, it'll help me out a lot. Alright. Get to set my birthday. I assume we just have spring, yeah, normal seasons. Custom? Oh, custom pronouns. No, I'll just stick with she, her. Those are mine. Wow, thank you, McKenna. What nice penmanship. I run the local post office, so I see a lot of handwriting. If you don't mind me asking, what drew you to our town? Mm, to be closer to nature? Great, I've made note of that. Why don't we go inside and take a look at your new tea house? Oh, crumbs. You don't have anything unpacked yet, though, do you? We'll definitely need some teaware before we can make some tea. Here, I thought you'd like this rustic tea set. Cute. Very down to earth. You'll need some tea and a few ingredients to get started, too. Let me help. Alright. Tea bag, sugar cubes, cow milk. Now we can get started making some tea. Oh, sugar cookies. Great Grandma Toffee says I'm a little over enthusiastic sometimes. Toffee and taffy. <laughs> I just love pico and tea. Did you want to make some tea now or settle in a bit first? Let's make tea. Let's just get right into it. Great, let's get started. Uh, I guess I gotta go here. Uh, oh, does the game just want me to unpack, <laughs> do this first? So much to do. Why don't I make a to-do list to keep track of it all? Oh, unpack teaware, unpack furniture and clear dust. Oh, the dust clearing is optional, but we definitely gotta do that because I have dust allergies. Is there more dust to clear? Uh-oh, where's the rest of the dust? Now we can start making some tea. I'm so excited to teach you about tea making. If you want a closer look, scroll into Zoom. Whee. Thank you. We need a real close look. If you want to look around, click and drag the scroll wheel button to 
to look around. Okay. Let's start by filling the kettle with water. Left ki click the kettle to pick it up and move it to the water dispenser. All right. Great. After picking up the kettle, left click the burner to place it on top. The burner will then turn on automatically. All right, I guess, what, we don't have to put this on there? All right. If you'd like to see how hot the water is, right click the kettle for more information. The water should be hot enough when it reaches 70 degrees. While we wait for this to boil, let's get the tea ready. Assume that's a Celsius temperature. <laughs> I mean, that would definitely not be hot enough. That's not even hot at all. And um, that's like not even warm pool water. Um, left click the tea caddy to lid to open it. Then left click the box again to take out a tea bag. Get that, put it in the cup. Uh, yeah? Oh, do we need to put it in here? Where does it want me to put it? Oh. I don't know why it didn't get added for, at first. I like my tea with milk and sugar. Mmm, sugar. You don't want to fill the cup up all the way if you're adding more liquids like milk. So be sure to leave a little room. You can see how full the cup is by watching the meter underneath. Oh god, this water's hot. Can we let it cool down a little bit? Will it will it cool down if we just like let it sit there for a second? Maybe. Still scalding. <laughs> Whoops. All right. Maybe to right there. Now let the tea steep. You can see the water start to change color. Once it's done, left click to remove the tea bag and add any other ingredients. Remember, you can scroll up to zoom if you have it. Okay, yes. Um, when, how do I know when it's the right color? Is this the right color? What's going on over here? Oh, I got a, I threw a tea bag back here. Next, we want to add the sugar while the tea is hot so it dissolves faster. Click the sugar bowl to pick up cubes. Okay. I love sugar. Could you please add lots to my cup? If you add too much water, you can right click and hold the cup to remove liquid. If you if you added too much, okay. Let me take this tea bag out. Can I take the tea bag out? Uh oh, I think I messed up by picking up that tea bag in the back. Yep. Well, I don't know if I can. Uh, Take that tea bag out now. <laughs> Whoops. Did I even add sugar the first time? I definitely didn't add it the second time. How do we feel about this sugar? Do we need to... I I'm guessing we haven't... Okay, now we've added enough. Next, let's add the milk. Remember, if you added too much water, you can right click and hold the cup to remove the liquid. Does this mean we added too much? Okay, I guess we did. Oh, hold to pour. All right, too full. Great job, finally, let's give everything a good stir. Left click the spoon to pick it up, bring it close to the teacup, and then right click and hold to stir. Oh, actually, 
Stir it. There, that looks like a pretty sweet cup of tea, if I do say so myself. When you're happy with the tea you've made, you can present it. While holding the cup of tea, simply left click to present it. Okay, can I get the tea bag out? Did the tea bag come out? I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. No, that that tea bag is still in there. How do I get it out of there? Oh well. All right. Let me place it right there. I hope you enjoy. The, oh, is that the tea bag? Mm, nice and sugary, just the way I like it. The townsfolk of Pico love tea and a good conversation. Don't be surprised when you get visitors at your window who want to say hello and spend some time with you over tea. It is a small town after all. I have a few more minutes before I have to head out. Come outside to say bye when you're done. <laughs> is that drawer rattling? How strange. Open drawer. Dear newcomer, welcome to Pico. This tea house was my home for many years and I hope that it feels like that for you soon too. I may be gone, but I hope you find the parts that I've left behind helpful and comforting. You have your work cut out for you, but you are not alone, especially once you receive your first spirited visitor to the tea house. Thanks, or best wishes, Chai Wan. I wonder who wrote this letter? Chai Wan? I guess they also left behind this journal. Looks like they'll come in handy. Ooh, a journal. I'll put it away for now, but click the button in the top right corner of the screen to open it again. Okie dokie. Where's the rest of this dust? Can we, um, get out of this area? Oh, do we gotta click there? Oh, I see some dust. Whoa. Can I rotate the room? Okay. Oh, those rotate. Okay. All right, the dust is cleared. Let's go say bye to Taffy. How did unpacking go? I found a letter. A letter? For who? Already? Wow, that's impressive. Who's it from? Someone named Chai Wan? Ch is it Ch Che Wan? A letter from Che Chai Wan? Wow. You should talk to Min about that when you have a chance. This has been great, but I gotta run. If you'd like to explore a bit, Min should be at her tea house. You can tell her about the letter. Oh, and that reminds me. Something arrived for her and Bong Cha was supposed to pick it up. If you're going by anyways, would you, would you drop off this package for me? Yeah. Thanks a bunch. Here you go. You received a package from Taffy. Bye for now. All right, let's get this delivery going. Uh, wait, is that not where I'm supposed to Oh, that is where I'm supposed to go. Over here. There we go. What a cute place. Got a little moat. Wow, you're cute. Ah, uh, yeah, Bong Cha. How many times have I told you to stop sneaking around and around? Sorry about that. Oh, you're not my Bong Cha. No, I'm- you're not Taffy either. Where is he? Taffy told me to- Who are you? Sorry, still not open yet. Come back later. I'm new to town. Oh. You're the new resident. I didn't realize that was today. About that. What about that? I found a letter. From who? Shock? Well, what does it say? You read Min the letter. You read Min the letter. Did I read it or have I read it? I think I'm done with our chat now. Very busy. Goodbye. Are you sad? Oh, there's some other cats hanging out over here. Is one of them Bong Cha? Hello there. You must be our new resident. I'm Michi. And this is Bong Cha. 
Nice to meet you both. Likewise. Sorry about Min. I doubt that was the introduction you were hoping for. No, I'm sorry. There's nothing to be sorry for. She's just slow to warm up to new people. Right. That. And you are? I'm McKenna. Great to meet you. And welcome to Beko. Peko. What is it? I have a letter in a package. Who's the letter from? Chaiwan? Oh dear. For Min? For me. Oh, that explains it then. Chai Wan was our dearest friend. And my grandmother. She passed away five or so years back. We all miss her very much. What's in the letter? Long Cha, don't be rude. What? She was my grandmother. Uh, fine, keep it to yourself if you want. No, no, it's okay, here. Oh, thanks. Thank you for sharing it with us. Yeah, thanks, I guess. Wrong Cha. Min and Chai Wan were very close. She likely feels hurt that there wasn't a letter for her too. Opening up old wounds and all that. Sorry. It's not your fault. You did the right thing. Taffy said she might want to see. You might understand. She's old and very set in her ways. She'll come around. What's the package you brought? Oh, here. Oh, this. Weren't you supposed to pick, up, pick that up from Taffy? Well, McKenna brought it instead. Problem solved. Bongcha. What? I know what it is, and it's a duplicate order. I don't actually need it anymore. You know what? Because I'm feeling generous. Why don't you take this, McKenna? Thank you. You're welcome. It's getting fairly late. We'll talk to Min. Come back another time. It was good to meet you. Yeah, what Auntie said. Bye for now. Cool. Uh, I guess I go back to my place? So Chaiwan was the previous owner of this tea house. This place must be pretty important to the townsfolk. I wonder how it got to be like this then. It's almost like a haunted house with how run down it looks. Rattle rattle. Eek! Maybe it's more haunted than I thought. I, I'm sorry for calling your tea house run down. It's actually very charming. Mm, up here in the teapot. Hello? Oh my goodness. Hello? A tea sprite? Phew, wow, hi. It's been a while since I've said hi to anyone. Chai Wan? A ghost? That's silly. Don't be scared. I'm here to help you. Maybe you've heard of me. Or maybe one of my cousins? <sighs> well, I'm a, I'm a tea sprite. Yeah. Cool, right? Totally. I wanted to say hi and introduce myself. Tea sprites are all over Pico. Each tea house has their very own patron tea sprite. And I'm yours. Great to meet ya. It is great to meet me, isn't it? I was asleep for a really long time. A lot seems to have changed. It's a little more run down than I remember. I've been here a long time though. I helped the previous owner. Chaiwan? Yeah, she left me a note. Ghost note. Just a regular note. Oh, I guess she wrote it before she passed away. Well, I'm here to help and assist you on your tea-making journey here in Pico. I hope you've had a good time exploring the town today. I figured I'd let you in on a little secret. Secret? Secret's a strong word, a tip more like. Anyways, what I wanted to talk to you about is tea points. What are tea points? I'm so glad you asked. Tea points are super important. With every cup of tea, you generate energy with your intent. We refer to them as tea points, which are affected by the ingredients you use, the time of day you make it, and who you make it for. Your tea points help to support and sustain the town. You can use your points for upgrades to your tea house or tea making. I was not expecting so much dialogue. Um, I guess that's not that unusual for the beginning of a game, but keep in mind that you can only earn so much, so many tea points per day though, but don't worry, you'll be swimming in tea points in no time. Questions? Nope. Neat, huh? So, uh, not to be rude or anything. Come on. We really need some tea points so we can get some upgrades here ASAP. I want you to collect 50 tea points. Alright, don't worry. It'll be easy teasy. <laughs> we'll start bright and early in the morning. Say, while you were gone, one more package got delivered for you. I took a peek in the box. It's a pillow. When you're ready to sleep, click on your bed to call it a day. Who knows what tomorrow will bring. Bye for now, McKenna. 
All right, I guess we're going to sleep. Well, you saw the tea. Um, we got a little info about what's going on in the game. Uh, so that's where I'm going to end this video. If you want to check out the demo yourself, I'm going to leave the link to the Steam page in my description and the game's Twitter page. I probably should have played just played the free play mode to, to do some of the tea stuff, but the, the tea making is cute even though I struggled with it for a second. I think if I had to do it again, it would be simple. I would have a much better time. But uh, yeah, go check out the Steam page, go wishlist, go follow them on Twitter, and make sure to subscribe for more cozy indie games. Thanks for watching.